which uh, let me just get this up. So Developing Experts um, has several ways of logging into the platform. I'm going to log in as a teacher. And when I log in, it will take you through to the teacher dashboard. I founded Developing Experts just by way of an intro back in 2015. At the time, I was researching the jobs market in Great Yarmouth and noticed that for every hairdressing vacancy that existed, there were 10 kids qualified but for every level two engineering post. There wasn't a single local young person in, Yar in Yarmouth that has, had the qualifications they needed to access that opportunity. And it made me realize as a head that there was a real disconnect between what I was teaching uh, my kids in the classroom and what the needs were and are of the local economy. And so that was the, the birth point of, and the need we had set out to address. And from that, we created a science curriculum for children ages four to 16 years and a careers platform for the whole family. Now we have just over 6,800 uh, schools uh, with accounts now. It grows by about 120 schools a month. We don't market at all. That's just teachers recommending it to other teachers. Um, and so it's been a foot soldier recruitment process from the teaching body, which we're delighted about. Now on the teacher dashboard, um, you scroll down, there's an intro um, a film that gives you an overview and then the teachers can see last week's lesson and the lesson coming ahead. On the right hand side, you'll notice that we're doing our first live lesson. Uh, that's gonna be uh, on the 10th of March. We've got, all, you know, we only advertised that two weeks ago. We've got over a hundred thousand children signed up to attend and that's growing daily. So this is, a, given this is our first live lesson, it's gonna be interesting to see how many turn up in the end because uh, the interest has been huge. Um, teachers and schools love us. We get some beautiful reviews back from um, our uh, schools using the platform. And then in, in addition to that, we really encourage um, the schools using the platform to tweet about what they're doing and share their stories on um, social media. So you can see, uh, yeah, we've got some interesting faces there from a taste, taste bud type lesson designed for nursery. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just show you the unit setup. So if you click on units on the left hand side, you'll see that we're mapped against the national curriculum. Um, when most of our schools are in um, in England, we do have around 50 schools in Wales using the platform and a handful in Scotland. So we are aligned to the curriculum of excellence up in Scotland. But we don't have many uh, users. We've really focused where the majority of our schools are. So we've really optimised the national curriculum uh, coverage, mainly because the Welsh curriculum is a very topic driven approach. Um, and so that's slightly more challenging. But we do have some tools that we've just launched, sponsored by National uh, Nuclear Labs, um, which enable teachers to upload their own content. So when you click on the curriculum, you'll then see all the different year groups uh, that you can select. And I'm going to go into year three and then you'll see all of the units uh, aligned to the national curriculum. I'm going to go into uh, at the bottom. You'll then also see all of the supporting documents that will be helpful for a teacher uh, and schools. We really think about um, what they need in order to make sure they're delivering an excellent curriculum, but doing it in a way that ticks all the Ofsted boxes as well to, to really reduce work workloads for schools as well. So if I click on the ROCKS unit, what you've got here, we give an overview of who the supporting partner is. In this particular case, it's nuclear waste services. And then what you'll see are the series of sequence lessons um, designed to deliver the national curriculum. And then you'll have an overview film and then all of the supporting documents to deliver that particular unit. So if I click on to one of those uh, units, you've got the knowledge organizer. Everything is really there to make the teacher's life easy. Now, if I click on to the lesson, one of the lessons itself, so if I, if I click, scroll down, you'll see that it actually has um, some quizzes uh, that you can access here or, or in the pupil zone and all of the supporting resources um, to deliver the lesson itself. So it's, again, all there to make life easy. 
And then if I click in, scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the complementary careers that complement um, the lesson. Teachers tell us regularly they really struggle to teach um, careers. And that's mainly because they're subject teachers and at primary level, um, they might be a, an English graduate having to teach all subjects. So they're not even subject specialists to, to then actually ask them to do careers on top. And that's the same secondary, whatever phase. Um, to sell an industry when they have no real experience of industry going from school to university to school, it's a real challenging task for them to do that with confidence and ease. And so what we're trying to do is just make that process really easy for the teacher. So we place a real focus on literacy. Each lesson comes with five words and meanings. We give the teachers um, the lesson plan. So everything is there for them to make life easy. They can edit these as well with the new function that's just um, been launched. And so then what I can do is go into the lesson presentation. Um, and if I click on the menu bar at the bottom right hand corner, you've got a scroll option to go fast forward through the slides. And then you've got uh, the slides themselves. If you want to have the what is a fossil? How is a fossil made? You can do. And so it's all about making sure that the resource is accessible to as many different uh, users as possible um, to make. Uh, sorry, my phone's going. Apologize. Uh, and then the five words and meanings appear in the slides as well. In some lessons, and we're just in the process of commissioning um, a series of films or, or songs at the moment from someone who performs and writes for Disney. So we're quite excited about that, but we're gonna be um, launching more songs shortly. But what we try and do is use a range of uh, techniques, resources to really engage the children, to really help them master the key knowledge, facts and skills as they're going through. Let's learn about rocks, it's that's geology. I think you get the gist. And then what we do is start the process of going through the story. So we deliver the key concepts as we're going through. And we do that through um, a variety of stills, but then also we've got um, uh, video footage that we can mount into the slide it's, it, itself. And what we've done uh, really focused um, uh, is uh, um, we place a focus on really making sure that the teachers have everything they need to deliver it with confidence and ease. As I said, they're not specialists at primary or secondary, so they might have done a, a, a degree in physics, but they're having to do uh, often in, in secondary schools, biology as well. Um, we've then got interactive um, in lesson assessment slides as well. And so as they're going through and once the teacher has taught the lesson, they can assign it to the pupil zone. They immediately know whether or not the child has mastered the key concepts. Each lesson then comes with virtual 360 tours. And these are the bits that we've done with industry partners. So you can scroll around their work environments. But then what they do is talk about what a typical day looks I'm like. China, and I work for nuclear waste services where I'm the head geologist. What are your job responsibilities? So Jonathan will then answer six different questions. And for our secondary lessons, we've then got interactive quizzes as well to just make sure we're gamifying the whole process of uh, rewarding kids to listen to, to the whole video as they're going through. But Jonathan, as you listen a little bit further in, he'll talk about what he wanted to do at school. Um, and how he ended up working in nuclear, because it's a big jump from uh, uh, from what they're doing, uh, what they were doing at school to where they ended up. So we're just really trying to break that decision making process down. So young people who really don't have a clue of what's out there and how to get there really can make those informed choices. Jonathan will then um, deliver a two minute film or thereabouts um, that talks about the applications of the concepts being taught in the classroom in the world of work. I'm Jonathan Turner. I work for Nuclear Waste Services where I'm the head geologist. And we're here in beautiful Dorset. And as you listen through on those films, they're really designed to, again, develop teachers' knowledge, parents' knowledge, and pupils' knowledge of the subject. And then we have a mission assignment. Uh, and the mission assignment summarizes the key concepts that we've covered in today's story. And then what it will do is set an investigation. Hi, I'm Matt. In this lesson, you've been exploring different types of soil. Let's look at some key points. 
So what we then do is really place a focus on practical application all the, all the way through. So kids have shown, teachers have shown um, the best way to explore the concepts for today today's lesson. So in this lesson, what they're doing is looking at investigating different properties of soil. So we set out the challenge. We don't show them the answers. They go find out the answers for themselves. And in some 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 cases in the film, we have a spoiler alert that they can compare results as they're going through. Once the teacher has taught the lesson, they've got a mark book so they can assign it into the pupil zone and immediately see how um, each child's doing. We've got councils like Suffolk County Council using it to really make sure that every child is part of their catch up COVID programme is um, really making rapid progress to make sure uh, that missed learning is uh, caught up. And if I go from the teacher zone into the pupil zone, what you've got is the lesson that's been taught that week um, appearing in the dashboard. The one of the things we do um, is uh, create a questionnaire now. So kids who are going through the lesson, they can complete a survey to say what sectors they're interested in, what um, uh, skills they've got in, skills they've got, what their aspirations are, what, whether they're interested in working outside, inside, in teams. We gather all of that for the partners. So it's all anonymized, the data that we collect, uh, but it's done in a way that enables our industry partners to see what the talent pipeline looks like from for each region. I'll show you what that looks like um, in the report that we, we uh, provide to our partners. If the child actually goes into the zone, um, they can then uh, complete a variety of quizzes. And the quizzes are designed just to enable the teacher to check that they understand the key literacy words. Um, but if they get the question wrong, what it will do is take them back to the point in the story to revisit the answer in context. But if they get it right, they just move to the next question. We've then got assessments. Um, and so they can actually, uh, uh, summative assessments. And so they can actually answer the questions as they're going through. Um, and so there's a whole range of different styles of questions. There's eight different questions. We've got drag and drop picture images, et cetera. And then we've got a uh, word search as well. So we can actually see that the children can actually uh, learn uh, or, or know how to spell the words as well. So once they've gone through, there's league tables where they can earn points to improve uh, their ranking. Uh, but then there's, there's a range of different things they can do. So there's a community game zone. Uh, we've got an achievement zone as they're going through. We've got a career zone. Um, so I'll take you into the career zone shortly. Um, and then we've got different partners. So we're also partnered with the rail industry and with Microsoft to um, enable children to see different career options for the future, because our ultimate goal is to help children make informed choices about their future career. We've then got the career zone um, where you've got the various 360 tours. Um, at, for, yeah, and then you've got the leaderboards. The career zone houses all of the 360s. Um, uh, so that's probably because I'm in a d demo. Oh, here we go. Um, sorry about that. Do you apologize? There we go. <laughs> so then you've got the various partners and their different environments that children can explore as they go through. So if I click on one, so rather than go into the lesson itself, uh, this is one we've done in Sellafield. And if you click on the bottom right hand corner, you can actually go into different rooms within Sellafield and learn about different job roles that um, operate within that particular lab or work environment. So um, if I come out of there, uh, what I'm gonna do is show you a couple more things. Um, so I'm gonna go into the pupil or lesson build tool area. So if you're, I've been told lots of you are, um, you go out and do workshops uh, and what you can do here, if you go into manage lessons, you can actually create your own uh, lessons from their entirety. So you can actually um, uh, click on a lesson from the library itself, or you can, so you can modify existing lessons, or you can add lessons uh, from scratch. So there's a whole range of things you can do with the platform. And so when you click into a tile that's there already, or if you add one, you can actually edit the lesson plans, you can uh, modify or add things, you can add things to the presentation itself. So if I click onto the presentation builder, you can drag and drop and change sequence, you can hide slides, delete them or add slides. So it makes the 
resource very versatile. Um, and if I take you back into the dashboard again, um, what we've got is uh, the survey tools. If I just show you those as well, um, you've then got uh, the questionnaires that you can take. So we're capturing this all the time so they can answer the different or explore the different units they're interested or industry they're interested in uh, pursuing and then uh, just complete the various questions. But what that then does as we're collecting that data, it personalizes the feed that they see on their pupil dashboard. So if they're interested in nuclear, the careers linked to and events linked to nuclear um, then appear in that zone. If I go into the career zone, which can also be accessed um, via the, um, the pupil zone, you can see one of a thousand different profiles that we've created. Um, and then if I click into those profiles, if a local council or partner has sponsored it, um, depending on the postcode, you can actually see the relevant apprenticeships and college options um, that feed in and job vacancies. Um, and what we're trying to do, you know, the example I, I used at the beginning, if they're interested in hairdressing, we're trying to hook them in to uh, explore complementary careers at the bottom. And so as they're going through, they can see different courses, job, job vacancies and events and complementary lessons. This is an example of the report that um, we can create uh, or do create for um, NSSG. Um, so we do a summary of the social media um, from NSSG to, to introduce the report. report. Shannon um, collates these reports for us on the team, but we then give an overview of new features so that the survey tools have just um, been added. But what we're doing with the survey tools is actually doing before and after survey functions for a unit. So you can actually um, measure the ba baseline of attitudes towards a particular sector or a topic. And then at the end of the six lessons, how many lessons the unit is, we can then revisit um, pupils' attitudes or uh, knowledge of a particular topic to show the change over time. Um, you then We then give you an overview of the data um, of how many schools have joined for over the past six weeks. Um, and then we give a summary of how attitudes have changed from the survey, the first survey that we've in, um, uh, launched in the platform. So you can see good old nuclear is ranked number seven currently based on the first set of data. Um, and then we break it down to gender. We also then give partners an overview of some of the work um, that young people have uh, submitted. And then we give a flavor of the tweets and social media um, and each half term, what we do is go into um, partnering schools just to check and carry out focus groups to see um, not only do we want them to um, tell us what they think uh, via tech, we want to do workshops that enable us to see what those attitudes are um, directly. So I can't find my 